Uh, now to Jordan, which has executed two prisoners just hours after Islamic State posted a video showing a captured pilot being burned to death in a cage. A failed suicide bomber, a woman the militants were trying to have released, was one of those put to death. And King Abdullah of Jordan, who was in Washington meeting President Obama, cut short his visit and has now returned to the kingdom. Well, let's speak now to Sharif Nash Nashashibi, a Jordanian journalist and commentator on Arab affairs. Uh, very good to see you. Well, it, this is clearly a crisis for Jordan, the king recognising that. Just how has Jordan received the whole kidnapping and, of course, the, the terrible outcome? Well, there is a great deal of public outrage. I think ISIS now has papered over differences among Jordanians about whether Jordan should be involved in the US coalition against ISIS. So there is a great deal of public outrage. The government has said that it will respond with an earth-shattering response. Um, so I think it is likely to have to heed public calls for, for revenge. Hmm. And that's in terms of those, those two immediate executions. I mean, what's your estimate on that? Will that make things better or worse? Well, I think questions might be asked about whether this has any effect on ISIS, given that those executed were not members of ISIS. And also whether, because they were members of Al-Qaeda, whether that might spur Al-Qaeda to seek revenge for, for these executions. Um, I think beyond that, while ISIS probably wanted to use the pilot as leverage to halt or limit Jordan's involvement in the coalition, I think now it's probably achieved the opposite, that Jordan is going to increase its participation.